Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to be talking about the weather conditions that we seem to just avoid like it's the plague. And that is the torrential downpour sort of thunderstorm weather settings that are in the game but don't seem to be utilised anymore whatsoever. I can't tell you the last time I was in a race and the conditions were extremely dire and you know you really had to focus on every single every single point in the track even driving down the straights was pretty difficult and i'm not saying the weather has to be as bad as what you see right now but i will say at the moment the weather conditions whenever we race in the rain at the moment it does seem to be a little bit timid like we're sort of scared of you know like heavy rain and you know this ain't f1 these cars can handle a lot more than what an f1 car can handle you know i just feel like you know for the last couple of years almost every time we do a wet race it's sort of on the cusp of being dry it's not really you know wet i see loads of guys still running like one tc in the mclaren and it's like it's, it's a wet race if you if you're running one tc it's not wet enough <laughs> okay in my opinion if you're able to run one tc it's definitely not wet enough um i personally prefer when it's actually really heavy rain because i feel like it you know it's, it's a bit more of a skill gap and it, it you know the way how you drive the circuit tends to be a little bit more you know it it stands out more towards your result now at the moment the way we have wet races where it's not really that wet it's still kind of determined by the car that you're in right obviously a good driver in a wet is still going to perform well but if you've got a fast car that's a fast car in the dry chances are if the rain's not that heavy it's still going to be pretty fast in the wet as well whereas when the weather conditions are you know a lot heavier it's sort of you know it's sort of down more to the driver it stops being about the car as much and it starts being down to you know how you control the the aqua plane moments how you can control you know getting the car straightened up to not engage the traction control as much which tends to be the reason why some people are faster than others in the rain because you kind of you need the traction not to die every time you hit a puddle but you also need to know when to disengage the traction control so you can actually get some some momentum and um i just feel like we don't really you know we just don't see it anymore you know we just don't see it we're always in this sort of light rain light rain just about medium rain or the rain's not that heavy it's only about seven or eight seconds a lap slower which isn't really that much um you can still pretty much run your dry setups you know you make you change you change maybe tire pressures obviously and stuff like that but do you really have a dramatically different um, setup for light rain or medium rain? Not really, you know. Um, it tends to just be similar to the dry setup. The way how you drive is pretty similar. You're still hitting the same lines and stuff. But back when I remember racing in these sort of conditions, mainly in, in actual visions league, um, in ACR, mate, there were some of the most interesting races and some of the, like, the jeopardy in those races was crazy. Because you had to concentrate all the way like you literally had to stay focused exactly on driving the track even when you're driving down the straight you had to be focused all the time man and some corners were very much hard to see but at the end of the day in in the real world you have races like this so i feel like you know um there's no reason why we shouldn't be racing in these sort of conditions maybe not as bad as this as i said some corners are completely blind um because of the water at the side of the windscreen but i still feel like these were some of the more interesting races on acc and it definitely shakes up the pack a little bit because there's there's a skill to it man your setup very important um the way how you as i said the way how you get the car straightened up not to engage the traction control and not to not to um run not enough traction control to where the car is just skating all over the track you know because in the day we have we have traction control in the game we have engine maps wet engine maps in the game they're never going to be utilized properly if we just stay in this sort of state of medium rain to, to light rain races because i personally find the light rain medium race is pretty boring because the order doesn't change it doesn't really change anything you know the fast guys are still the fast guys the fast cars are still the fast cars whereas in these conditions literally anybody can make a state make a mistake if you just drop focus for a second that's why i really prefer driving in these sort of wet races because 
and they were fun man they were definitely fun even though a lot of the time i crashed <laughs> it was just definitely more fun because it, it took so much more skill to, to get through a whole race man um I, i'd say probably back in the day when the, the lexus was op that was really the only car that was like just stupid fast in the rain but other than that you could literally you know you could literally battle for positions in anything when it was this wet it didn't really matter what you was driving really apart from the lexus maybe um you could get a good result as long as you kept it on track as long as you spotted your braking markers and you was just smart about the way you, the way you was driving um but now that's just not the case man the races that we have now is really not the case you tend to still have to be in one of the the better cars and you know that's pretty much it um so yeah I, I would like to see some more leagues incorporate you know this real heavy rain because it's in the game why not utilize it um i think ever since i was the sro amateur race at spa where pretty much half the field absolutely stacked it at the top of our rouge over radion because of the puddle ever since then i don't think i've seen a like really really wet race like extremely wet i haven't seen one i think that was the last one it was, it was pretty insane but it was a great race you know um so i'd love to see something like that back again but anyway guys i'm going to forward it on to the challenge and my challenge is going to be i want you guys to take the lamborghini evo the same car i've used i will drop the weather conditions in the video so you guys can see for yourself right um i want you to do a lap i'll give you the weather conditions the time of the the time of the session is obviously 12 o'clock um and it's on the thunderstorm settings in the um in the in the options menu and i want to see what lap time you can get driving in these sort of conditions man um how much you had to tiptoe and i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave you a little slot in my discord for the little challenge section so you guys can see um and then i want to see what you guys can do man what lap time are you able to get i'm gonna play my lap time although i should really i should i should really um blur out the time because obviously you guys might start trying to sweat it start trying to beat my time and stuff but um, yeah, a little challenge for you guys just to see what you think and um, yeah, see how fast we can all go in the rain. Anyway, it's Cryptic TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And here's the lap.
Hold on, mate. Go slow, fast, and slow. Cryptic TMG made it home.